Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing with you some pieces that I picked up from Pink Blush Maternity. These are all pieces that I want to have in a capsule wardrobe for this current pregnancy. So I want this to bring me from where I am right now at 17 weeks all the way up to August when this current baby is due. So I've got quite a few seasons to get through. All of these pieces are very basic and versatile so that I can layer them up if I need to with these cold winter months, but then they are also suited for the summer as well. So uh, yeah, let's hop into it. So this first piece is a very basic blue poncho. It kind of fits like a super oversized t-shirt, honestly. I really like the color and my favorite part about it is in the back here is this really pretty white tie. It makes it just a little bit more feminine, whereas just a poncho in general, it isn't really. Um, one of my favorite things about this, though, is that it is so roomy. So towards the end of pregnancy, it'll be really comfortable, and it just won't feel like anything is hugging on me. So yeah, I have a feeling that this will be worn a lot towards the end. But as for right now, it just it's a really comfy kind of big t-shirt. Next, I have this white t-shirt that you may have seen if you watched my most recent Knit Crate unboxing. I did wear it in that video. Uh, and it's just a very basic white t-shirt, but then it's got this really cool sleeve detailing. I am someone that does not like to show my upper arms during summer. I don't know what it is. My skin there is a little bit rougher, and I guess I'm just a little bit more self-conscious about that. Uh, but yeah, I really like the lace mesh detail here, and then these fun ruffles as well. The one thing I'm not quite as certain about with this t-shirt is that while it is still pretty flowy right now, I'm not sure how it's going to look later in pregnancy. I'm still going to wear it, but um, yeah, it's not quite as a, I don't know. I don't know what the word would be, but yeah, this is my bump right now at 17 weeks. So I don't think I'm going to get massive, but yeah. Not sure, we'll find out. Here I have another very basic white t-shirt, kind of has the same pattern as that last one where it covers that upper arm pretty well, but this one has a ruffle going all the way around it, which I thought was really cute. And uh, one of the knitting projects that I wanna do is a new boho blush in Madeline Tosh Merino Light in the colorway Scout, which is a really pretty dusty pink. I showed it over on my Instagram a couple days ago. It's really, really pretty, and I think that that boho blush shawl would look really really nice with this so yeah kind of looking forward to getting that on the needles but yeah I really really like this t-shirt as well it's got the same kind of thing going super flowy towards the bottom but one thing that is kind of nice with this one as opposed to the other one is that the sleeve here hugs the upper arm a little bit more so it feels a little more secure if you're someone that also struggles with that kind of uh, upper arm insecurity. I do push-ups every morning, so I shouldn't probably be conscious about, or self-conscious about those upper arms, but I don't know. I am, and I, I think I have been for pretty much ever, so yeah, I don't know. So after spending all of that time talking about how insecure I am about my upper arms, one thing I am not insecure about is showing off my belly during pregnancy. So this is a pretty form-fitted top. I do have to grow into it just a little bit. It's still a little bit loose here. But um, yeah, I love these form-fitted tops just because it really shows off your bump. And they're just really comfortable as well. The other thing that I liked about this is that it's just a very basic v-neck top so I can layer it with just about anything. And I also really like the length of it. It's pretty long so I can wear this with leggings really, really easily. I've mentioned in a couple of my other videos that I am essentially living in leggings at this point just because this baby feels so much lower than when I was pregnant with Evie that it's it's just more comfortable to be in leggings. So um, real quick, I am gonna mention that my favorite leggings for maternity are the Ingrid and Isabel seamless leggings from Target. So that's what I'm wearing right now. I have a gray pair as well that get a lot of love. And yeah, very basic t-shirt, but I think I might get a couple more colors as well. They're very, very comfortable. And I do, I tend to gravitate towards these uh, 
form-fitted ones. So I have three dresses to show you real quick, but I want to just quick apologize that you're probably not going to be able to see the bottom of the dresses. They're all very, you know, basic, just straight across. Uh, but I don't want to angle the camera down anymore just because this bedroom is not completely finished. We sheetrocked all of the walls. Uh, there was paneling there before we sheetrocked over all of that. And so if I angle the camera a little bit lower, you're going to see all of the like putty and stuff because we are also replacing the carpet within like a week. So um, yeah, I don't want to show all of that, but it is there and so please bear with me. Um, anyway, the dress that I wanted to show you first is just a pretty basic little black dress. Very, very simple. Uh, I can wear it casual or dressed up for a date night kind of thing. It does also have some pockets here. Honestly, this was not my favorite item from this haul to begin with, but I do kind of like it. It's growing on me a little bit more. And part of that might just be that I'm growing into it. I know I had mentioned it to my mom that I didn't think that I was quite big enough to fit into it yet. So um, yeah, I think I'm getting there now. And it is a very basic, just cottony sort of dress, but I don't know. I think I like it more and more every time I wear it. I also picked up this navy blue and white striped t-shirt dress. It's also very, very basic, super stretchy, kind of that t-shirt material and very, very comfy. It's supposed to be form fitted and my bump isn't quite big enough to fit into it just yet. We're getting close, but uh, yeah, not quite there yet. It's kind of a longer dress. I'm not sure how well you can tell. Uh, but my biggest thing with this is that I have an army green jacket that I really, really love wearing in the spring. And I think that that'd be really, really cute with this. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to be wearing it quite a bit during that time as well. So yeah, love, love, love this dress. Can't wait to fit in it just a little bit more. So this last one is really fun for me because it is a repurchase from when I was pregnant with Evelyn. I had this same off-white lace dress when I was pregnant with her and wore it so much that the lace frayed and is essentially completely unusable at this point. So I did pick up a new version of it and I just really, really love it. I love the belt tie here that makes it a little bit more A-line. I love the fact that this lace is super, super stretchy and it's just a really nice kind of uh, date sort of dress. I always love to have a lace dress in my closet just at all times. I have one that I'm actually looking at right now that was from before my pregnancy, but it's a lot stiffer, so it definitely would not be comfortable anymore. But yeah, I love this dress and the fact that I had one when I was pregnant with Evelyn just makes it even better. So I think that that is going to do it for my haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and liked some of the pieces that I picked out. Certainly let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Uh, as for right now, I think I'm going to start packing. We are actually going on a little uh, weekend trip with my daughter. The entire weekend is essentially going to be about her. So um, I'm hoping to do some vlogging on that, show you what I'm packing, all of that. So if you are interested in any of those videos, certainly hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And as for right now, I am going to, yeah, get going on packing because we are leaving soon. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.